up 9th Avenue, and there are no cars. <laughs> In both directions, it's bustling with people. It's a very exciting day here in the meatpacking district because it's flower show weekend. Basically, the grid of the meatpacking district has become a pedestrian super block. People are walking around having tons of fun sitting in the streets, taking pictures with all the flowers and the artistry. Just another example of how New Yorkers are craving more open space. Many of you know I have been to Barcelona and seen the super blocks in person. This is pretty much a super blocks on steroids. It is New York City's first festival of flowers. Um, we have a fully pedestrianized 9th Avenue shut down completely to traffic because there's so many people out enjoying the festival um, that we didn't have much of a choice. People have space, they are happy, businesses are bustling, um, and New Yorkers are enjoying the space outside without the noise of cars. This is, I mean, oh my God. Right? Like, th this is, this is it, right? I mean, the, honestly, I was like, oh, there's kind of too many people here. Like, imagine that, that's... If we were, imagine if we couldn't shut down the avenue. Now, this is pretty cool because we're in Gansvoort Plaza. And back in 2005, when I joined Open Plans to make some street films, this was one of the first projects that we worked on. We wanted to make this space, which wasn't a plaza at all. It was a car-infested triangle where there was no open space. This area was totally different. It was cars and traffic, and now we've transformed it. And just right down there, Gansvoort Plaza, that was one of the first places we did our photo sims up. Like, people have now brought that vision to life. To see what has happened in transformation over the years to what this plaza has become, First, putting out temporary materials, then putting out real benches, then redoing the cobblestones and making this really friendly to people has really been uh, quite a sight to watch over the last almost 20 years. Our partner, um, Leaf, and my now friend Moira Breslin, she's the brilliant founder of the Festival of Flowers for the city. These festivals happen all around the world, and why should New York not have a flower festival? Well, what I've learned about our open streets um, sort of pilot program over the past year is you have to program and you program by creating you make places whether that's through umbrellas and furniture or by bringing in some creative music um, some entertainment of form, some form or another but as soon as you make a place people occupy it and check that out behind me there are these really cool road signs that they've decked out with flowers and great messages these are the best road signs I've ever seen in my life Grow instead of slow or caution. Kids, families, the dogs, everybody's here. And a mom this morning, she had twins, and there she was with her double wide stroller, so happy to have the avenue to walk down. When people talk about what is public space management, why do we need public space management, this is public space management. It is the amazing art projects. It is the street furniture. It is the coordinating it. It is the promotion. It is the coordinating the vendors and the stores and, and the artists and all of that. This is 14th Street where it intersects with 9th Avenue. And this used to be six lanes of traffic. We're standing right now in a plaza, a beautiful plaza that once was home to asphalt, and there was no place for people. I have some photos I'm gonna put up that are gonna startle you. And I even have the photos as before, interim, and after. And it'll really show how this area has changed quite a bit. Creativity has no bounds, and the streets are public space. And they're a benefit to New Yorkers, they're a benefit for business, and at the end of the day, that's New York City. So cars aren't allowed to travel here today. There is one car in here, but we're going to allow it today because it has a plant in it right now and people are enjoying it.